Hello everyone, this is a one show port quick play of Pen Pen Tri Triacelon? Tri Triacelon? <laughs> I never know how to pronounce this game. I think it's spelled Triacelon is how it is. Uh, this game is... It sure is something. You, you, you've probably seen me, seen me play it on a, a stream in the past if you've stuck around long enough. But this is a, uh, a racing game with a very, um, <laughs> maybe a crude style is the right way to put it. It's a uh, very loud, over the top, and uh, I don't know how to put it. Like, almost, <laughs> like, it, it's, it's trying very hard to be almost, like, carnivalish in a lot of ways. Um, and I think in, th in that way it succeeds. <laughs> um, but it also is, is uh, oh, I've called it both uh, visually and audibly offensive before, but I still really like this game. Um, so basically, you, you are these little penguins. And uh, yeah, one of the fun things you can do is you can dress up your penguin. Weirdly enough, you can get a a M16 rifle. Um, but yeah, there's like a bunch of different outfit groups together, so you can like collect multiple pieces of clothing. Uh, so you can have more than just like, hey, like here's a pair of shoes, but you know, with these ones, I found them a pair of shoes, backpack, and hat that goes with it. And so you can dress up your pen pen uh, appropriately. And then there's different different pen pens as well. So if you wanted to, you know, play as as Tina or Mr. Bow, um, you could you could do that. We're just gonna play as Sparky though, um, Sparky the pen pen. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to race here. And uh, this game, it has uh, really interesting controls. Um, maybe not really interesting, but very unique for a racing game. I'm gonna go ahead and do the easy level. Essentially, every stage, uh, easy easy difficulty. Um, is a, a trial or a trial uh, training mode so you're gonna see some controls that show up on screen and that might help you better understand like how this game uh, plays essentially so you get these penguins and I can like move up and down or forward on the analog stick to like move them around in the opening area there but as you can see right here we dropped on our belly so now we gotta like actually throw ourselves forward and as you can see you have to press the a button and then release I didn't mention I don't know if I don't recall if I mentioned this but this is a dreamcast game. Um, as well, so that is a red Dreamcast A button. I don't know if any other controller has a red A button. Uh, I guess like NES controller or something like that. But yeah, so it's like it's there's a pacing to this. Like you can't just sit here and like spam the button, or else you don't really do anything. Uh, and then obviously you can just hold the A button and you just kind of slide around. So this is a rhythm to doing this. Um, and and it's it's an interesting control scheme. Um, so then once you hit these little checkpoints, basically. Uh, you have a little break, and then the control scheme changes. So in this case, we have the ability to... We're basically running around like we were at the beginning. Uh, when we're running around, one thing we can do, and I'll show you here real quick, is we can dash into other people. And if you miss somebody, you get, like, stunned. So you, you get, like, the fall on the ground, and so you lose lose speed. But if you hit somebody, you just keep going. There's also things like this where, like, there's a ramp here. And you want to jump at particular times on that ramp to have different levels of speed. Because if you jump at, like, you know, the top of the ramp, you're not going to have as much speed as you would, you would with... Um, with, um, uh, you know, if you're going down the ramp and you're building up momentum that way. So there's a lot of times in this game where you really have to think about, you know, what kind of surface you're on. You know, obviously think about the controls you're viewing. In the case of this one, this is swimming. This is kind of the third control method. Uh, it's fairly similar to the, the other one where you're, like, belly on the ground. Um... Uh, but, you know, you have full 3D control within that space, so you can kind of nav navigate around obstacles rather than, you know, being flat on the ground the whole time. And those are kind of the three main uh, ways that this game this game plays. Um, and so every level is broken up in those different chunks, but there's only about four levels. Uh, so honestly, this game is very short. <laughs> uh, but it, And it's also a very easy game. Um, as you'll see, like... Uh, in that case, I, I was not paying a ton of attention, so maybe, I, I, I don't know if I got first there. I didn't even pay attention to what place I got, but, but, uh, it's a very easy game. I, when I played through this game, um, also, uh, I looked at the, I was Googling this game, and, uh, the first, one of the first, actually, the first search result that came up was, uh, Pen Pen Triathlon Racist. I'm pretty sure this is why, 
<laughs> oh, but yeah. So anyway, so we're gonna so there's different course links you can do. Uh, the easy one is the the shortest one that has the, the trial information on or the the training info on it. Uh, there's also additional uh, obstacles that appear in the course, and the long one basically has more racers in a race, and then also a um, an extended course as well in that case. Um, so you basically have two tracks that are identical, well, almost identical. The the layout's the same, and then um, and then on the second version of that track they add obstacles, and then on the third, fourth, and fifth versions of the track it's just longer, and then they change um, they change what you're racing against. So in this case we're racing against eight eight characters in the long course, but if we uh play the the race after this. Um, it's actually uh, eight characters who are all the exact same character type as you, so they'd all be sparky. So each character has, like, you know, like a lot of racing games, each character has their own attributes of how they control and things like that. So you're racing against eight characters of your own. So, like, on an easy version of this course, those little snowmen wouldn't be there. It would just be a flat, flat terrain there. So, come on. Uh, and then the final race uh, is basically a one-on-one -on -one with this guy in front of us. The guy with the, the, the skis, like, Han Hanamazu or something like that. This game is like distinctly Japanese in a lot of ways. Just like all the voices are in Japanese, uh, as as hard as it can, can be to tell sometimes. Um, but uh, and a lot of the names are also very Japanese. Um, all the voice actors are, are definitely still the Japanese voice actors as well. So, but yeah, this game's just kind of um, it's kind of just in your face in a lot of ways, just with how it looks and how how it sounds. Um, but I think overall, like, the play style is very, uh, very fun, and, and, and I don't know if unique is the right word, but it, it does try to do some different things with it, you know, if, I do like the pacing that comes with, like, having to press the A button in sections like this, um, oh, jeez, um, I'll tell you right now, these, these AI are being way more aggressive than they ever have been before when I played this game. So I don't know if we're on a harder difficulty now that I beat the game already. Um, admittedly, I only unlocked like half the, um, oh jeez, no. I only unlocked half the clothes in the game, but I couldn't figure out how you were supposed to unlock the other half. Um, I thought maybe the time trial mode. I did a couple of the time trials, but, uh, oh no, oh no, we're on the ice. <laughs> Get up. Ugh. I uh, did a couple of the time trials, but I didn't unlock any new stuff as far as I could tell, so... But this didn't, like, identify itself as a hard mode, and it still shows the first place medals for these, so... Okay. Oh, jeez. Alright. This is becoming a real mess. Real fast. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Alright. So sometimes there's like different surface types you want to run on, like in this case there's that, that ice surface that makes us move faster. Then there's cases like this where there's basically a a very, um, I don't know if extreme is the right word, but there's a challenge there. So in this case it's trying to get into this hole because the, the ground keeps uh, spinning around while you're in there. And so you can see right there I kind of try to jump and I, I got slowed down because I was jumping up the slope instead. I also pushed that guy way ahead of us on accident. The water's bad, but we do want to get this uh, little speed up here. Uh, one one uh, good tactic is to like, um, oh, hold on, is to kind of dash your way into things that will prevent you from, you know, um, um, having to stand back up. So if you dash into a, a speed up, you'll you'll just go through the method of speed or the the speed up animation. You won't, you know, have to stand back up from it. Or in the case of if you dash into the next checkpoint, the character will go right into walking to the checkpoint. So that there is some strategy to when you want to dash um, without anybody in front of you. Oh, God. Um, there we go. I'm doing pretty bad. All right. But yeah, there's a lot of just like really weird character design in this game. Uh, when we go to one of the one underwater levels, I'll see if we can point it out, but there's like a seaweed section of that game that has like very demented looking seaweed creatures. I don't, like they're not really super noticeable, they just kind of sit in the background. Here we just have some weird elephant nose guys. And we hit the goal. goal! I do like that generally there's like a, a, um... Each stage is like, has a unique theme to it, and, and definitely parts of the stage kind of look like other parts of the stages, but they're usually uh, pretty distinct. Um, go to the award ceremony, see see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, so so you basically 
you know, the, the goal in this game kind of is to beat um, all five races on a level. But, um, you know, when you're playing the, the shorter races, it's still the first part of the track every time, as you can see there. Like, you're still doing the first three checkpoints every time. Um, so it really just comes down to flat obstacles, uh, longer with more characters, longer with the same type of characters, and then the one-on-one -on -one with, with uh, uh, Hani Hanimizu is his name, apparently. Um, and as far as I can tell, there's only four tracks. Uh, I did try to look up online whether there's anything else that could be unlocked, but I, I did not see anything really, which is where the whole Pen Pen Triathlon racism thing popped up. So you can see everybody's a, a generic looking Sparky. They're not quite me, but they're the same build type, type and things like that. So I, I hate the beginning of this map. <laughs> that actually went pretty well. Uh, I had to restart that part of the map like four times the original first time I played this because um, uh, everybody was just tackling into each other the whole time and and like first place got so far ahead just because the opening section there that I I just had to uh oh had to um, restart <laughs> every time because it's just like there's no way I'm winning. This map's a uh, hard hard challenge here is a little easy you just kind of kind of bounce across those particular. Uh, platforms. I do like the background design in this game in general, though. Like, you can see all this is like wooden kind of toy. I mean, this is a, a toy level essentially. Um, so all the backgrounds are like wooden. We got, you know, these rubber deckies everywhere here. Um, the swimming sections are probably the most, um, I don't know how to put it, like, uh, explorative, I guess, because there are like a lot of little hidden uh, speed ups. Where they're usually pretty obvious on the other uh, levels. Ooh, oh boy, wait. Let me pass. There we go. Like, so for example, and it's nothing like crazy or anything like that. It's basically just like situations like where this this thing is covering this little side path down here. Which you can very clearly see up there, but there's a power or a speed up right down here. Um, and then, you know, as you do, do this track, you learn that this is the top path that has the speed up in it. But it also has more obstacles on it and things. That's actually the first time I ever hit anything in here. Oh, something got ahead of me. Somebody's in the below path there. Got past me. And then we can kind of navigate down here. We might actually come in second place. This might be the first time I have to not come in first place in this game. Because that dude is, is pretty far ahead of us. Um, this is a longer course though still, so I think we still have quite a ways to go. I think we're about maybe three... Or t uh, maybe two-thirds of the way through right now. So... So it's all about like learning which paths have the right power-ups on it, or not power-ups, speed-ups on it. There's really no attacking other than that tackle, and the tackle is only available in the run mode. So if I'm on the ground here, sliding around on my belly, there's no way I can attack anyone in front of me other than just, you know, bumping them. Yeah, there we go. We're catching up. You, get out of the way. There. Uh, AI is pretty dumb in this game. I, I noticed with the one-on-one -on -one races, the with the Hani Mizu, or whatever his name is, um... They will sometimes just wait for you. I think that might be part of what makes this game so easy. Is it's really like there's no rubber banding, rubber banding against you per se. Everybody seems to get behind you really far, uh, but it seems like there is some rubber banding if you fall behind. So they'll just like sit there and wait for you to come finish the, or you know get past them essentially or or meet up at the same spot they're at. It, it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, does that make for a better game? I don't think so. Probably. Um, I basically beat all these races and got first place within in an hour and a half. Um, so other than the fact that I don't know where to get like the other half of the clothes, um, um, you know, I, I don't really know what other content you would do in this game of the time trials. But it is fun, like, with, like, things like this, like, it's not a traditional turn when you're doing these, like, belly slides. Um, so, so you do have to really kind of think about how you're going to go around these corners and, you know, as you do the race five times over, essentially, uh, you kind of learn, you know, what works best uh, for, for getting around those corners. Sometimes you just need, like, a half tap just so you, like, you slow down a little bit and you don't, um, you know, just slam right into the wall, essentially. I think this is a really cool way to control a game, though. There's just not a lot of content here in a lot of ways. Um, you know, we I, I have essentially showed you three-fourths of the game at this point. Um, so, so you know, you you are you have almost experienced the entirety of Pen Pen Triathlon. 
Um, we will do, do the final race type here, um, which is the one-on-one -on -one race. Thank you. Oh, he has a cigar, too. This game's rated E for everybody. I'm kind of surprised that some of this stuff got passed. Uh, so, anyways, uh, let's, let's change our, our clothes here real quick. What, what do we got going on here? So, it looks like we did unlock more clothes just by racing again. So, even though I've already beat these races, I'm apparently still getting more clothes from them. So, maybe you just gotta replay the game again if you want to. <laughs> uh, it does feel like it maybe is slightly more challenging, but I don't see anything identifying the fact that, you know, it's... It's it's a harder harder version of these races or anything. So, oh, we did get a second medal there. Interesting. So, we're finding out something new here at the very end. Um, yeah, interesting. I might I might try to do the rest of that before I finish up with this game. I mean, like I said, I only played like an hour and a half of this game, um, and and I got the end credits. So, so it's uh you know. <laughs> Whatever, whatever link I can get. I don't know. Maybe I won't bother with it. I've already played through all these courses basically five times. Why would I do it again? <laughs> so, other than just more outfits. <laughs> uh, so, this is the race where you have Hanimazu. So, you're just racing with this guy. Um, he seems to be faster than the other um, typical characters here. So, so it usually is a little bit more challenging to stay ahead of him. Um, but like I said, he'll he'll just kind of wait for you sometimes. I don't know if it's this, the AI just breaking or if it's a rubber banding thing. So there's something like somewhat aggressive you could do. I didn't really intend to do that, but obviously I pushed him into the wall right there. Um, this level in particular, I did end up playing um, on a Halloween stream uh, to be like, hey, here's a festive game here. And as you can see, he's 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 got quite the the distance on me right now. But he gets stuck in the water here, and so I end up going a lot faster. But. Oh, that's really slow for some reason. That's weird. Alright. So, is he, he just kind of was, like, sitting there? I don't really know if he was just waiting for me or what. So. Alright. But, yeah, there's just not a lot of content to this game. There he is. Hey, honey, Manzu. Um, and, and it looks like maybe, maybe these are harder races too, which is kind of nice. I was not aware of that, uh, which does make it a little bit more valuable. But like I said, there's only four courses basically. Um, so, you know, do you want to replay the same, uh, course 10 times on a, on a playthrough if you decide to do the hard race too? I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> it's probably fine. I don't know. I'll think about whether I want to play some more or not. Uh, or at least, like, just have it on as a, a something I could do in the background kind of thing. So, Hanimazu! So, it should be another speed up down here. Let's see if that's enough to kind of solidify our lead. I'm not sure if it will be, but... It's a pretty tight race right now, so... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Come on, get up there! I have had times where I just like get stuck on a ledge sometimes and I don't really know what to do. Alright. There's not really a way to defend yourself from somebody behind you dashing into you either, which is kind of a, a difficult thing. I mean, you can kind of... The, the controls are kind of... Uh, I don't know what the way to put it. Kind of slippery. Like, coming around this corner, you can see how I just kind of slide around that corner a little bit. I have to really lead into turns. So there's not a lot of like very precise dodging and stuff like that. All right, here's our here's our event for this map. These hands here. I'm really bad at these ones. No, they didn't get him. No. Okay, they got him there. Let's see. Oh, he dashed into me. Well, we may lose for the the first time. I'm gonna see because there's a ghost down here that slows you down, and he may also be waiting for us. Um, there's a ghost down. Yeah, he was waiting for us. Um. I might be able to, yeah, so I got past the ghost. So these ghosts will, will slow you down. Uh, but because he already got hit by the ghost, I was able to kind of just walk by. Anyways, we did it. That's definitely the closest race I've ever had in this game. Um, he walks backwards, by the way, Hanimazu. It's weird. I'm sure that's the point of it, though. Um, so, yeah, so so we'll go ahead and hop over to the time trial mode here real quick. Um, and I'll, I'll show you that real quick. I never thought you'd finish.
I like these uh, loading screens. They're just kind of strange. Um, so anyway, so we can back out here. Uh, so there's time tra trial mode. There's also local multiplayer. I don't have anybody to play with, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, I think because I didn't say we might have just lost our progress there, but that's fine. Uh, anyway, so what's kind of interesting about the uh, time trial mode is you actually just choose individual parts to play as well. So let's go to the ones. So like we haven't played Frappy Forest yet. Um, in uh on on this quick play here so we'll, we'll look at frappy force but we just need to play this one part of the the race essentially um you do do a time trial for the entire course too as well um but yeah I, it's just there's not a lot of variety i do think the control scheme is very fun and i do like that you get outfits that's a fun way to like you know encourage you to to you know play um you know play more i guess like uh, it gives you a goal kind of thing there is technically a credit sequence you get after you beat all the races but you know it, it's it's a racing game so you know, what does the credits really mean um you get a little bit of dialogue i don't even remember what the dialogue said to be honest i'm doing real bad here uh, uh but what little dialogue there is in this game is pretty silly like the opening cutscene there i would encourage you we didn't watch the entire opening cutscene but i would encourage you to go look up the the american intro to pin pin triathlon because there's like a bunch of extra dialogue in it where the uh the japanese version doesn't have any of that as far as i can tell so uh so i was trying to look up the the intro for this game a while ago and i kept running to the japanese version of the game and was like oh no there's no extra dialogue here this game's also just very loud like obviously for this quick play i'm bumping the audio down but whoa it is maybe the loudest video game i've ever played in my life Oh, I did a replay on accident. Oh, can I back out of this? There we go. Oh, dang it, I've restarted again. Um, one thing that might be interesting to note is that, uh, so th that voice clip there might sound familiar to you. This, these characters also appear in, uh, in, um, um, Blue Stinger for the, uh, for the Dreamcast. And, and it has that same thing, like, a uh, voice about, like, finding these pen penguins in the shopping mall and things like that so one of my favorite things about this game is the uh save screen <laughs> uh it just says you did a good job for today have a rest pen pen and uh your your pen pins up in the corner uh sleeping it says good night and you can just go ahead and save the game i think the the, the feature might literally just be called good night let's see because like when we when you exit the time trial it does it does automatically make you save when you do that but um yeah, there's just a good night button here. You can just, just go do this whenever you want. Um, but yeah, there's like a, a very cute aesthetic to this game that I like a lot. Um, but it's so, it's, well, huh, I don't know. Maybe cute's not the right word. Um, it tries to be cute. You know, you can see like the sign there in the top left le left where it says Pen Pen House. Um, and like, there, 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 there are cute things about this game aesthetically. Um, but it also it comes off as just like erratic and 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 creepy to some extent and and the the music is just a, a cavalcade of noises going into your ear um, but I almost find that like that awfulness <laughs> maybe not awfulness is the right word but that that offensiveness of everything um somewhat appealing like like this game has a very particular thing it is it's it stands out of being like this monstrous thing in some ways um and i like it i like that it does that i like that this game is just a nightmare in some ways uh but i think it's it's cool that it's it, it has a unique you know unique mechanic in terms of you know how you're racing and that you're changing between different types of races i think maybe the third uh racing element could be a bit more unique the swimming is like doing the strokes again uh but there is still like the dimensionality of like being able to you know swim in a, in a full 3d space versus you know um uh, being on the ground with your belly you're kind of limited to the, the the flat track and whatever whatever you can do there but yeah you have pretty much seen the entirety of pen pen triathlon except for the fact that i apparently need to play the game on hard too if i want to unlock the rest of the costumes i don't think i'll do that <laughs> i think i'd rather move on to something else i do like this game though it's very fun uh but you know like i said i got about an hour and a half out of the playing through it once um i would guess you know 
it, it, based off the challenge level I was getting, I still think I was getting first for the most part. So, so maybe another hour and a half, hour to two hours of gameplay time if you really want to go for that. But yeah, I do like this game as much as I have kind of poo-pooed its visuals, but it's or visuals in its presentation, I guess. Uh, but but it's also a presentation I really like. So, anyways, thank you so much for coming. OneControllerReport.com is the website. Um, every every uh, Monday, I have a podcast that goes at, up at 9 a.m. Pacific time, and then also a um, I stream every Thursday at uh, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I try to play games like like this when I can. Um, that are kind of weirder and out there if I can, uh, but sometimes I try to also play a little more, more uh, safer as well. So, so we'll see. Uh, m- more recently, I did it in a Toka Doll video, um, and then I'm trying to think if there's any other other like weird racing games that I've I've talked about. I did a quick play of Snowboard Kids 2. I can link that at the end of this video if you like. If you like that, this game kind of snowboardish in some ways. Not not really snowboardish, but it is that like downhill momentum. Uh, uh, this game has that snowboard games have too. So I'll go ahead and link that Snowboard Kids to uh, Quick Play. That's a, that's a really fun game. I, I really enjoy that game as well. So anyways, thank you for coming. Again, onecontrolboard.com is the website. And I hope you have a great week. Bye.